Okay, first of all, light skin and dark skin. There is animosity between light skinned blacks and dark skinned blacks. When I was younger, my sister used to make fun of me. She used to call me orange. I'm not lying. I had that damn clay orange look, and my hair, as you can see, is curly. So automatically, somebody said, you know, your hair is curly. Your face is red. You, you got white in you. We went to Tennessee on vacation. You got some white in you because your hair is curly. And they made fun of my reddish colored skin like I was, you know, like I had white in me. I'm like, Indians are more red than... <laughs> they call yeah. Indians the red man, you know. Yeah. But they made fun of me because I was high yellow or red or orange, like my sister used to say. Animosity grows between the shades of people anyway. We've all been taught to dislike or, or, or not like so much somebody because they're different. This is a genetic thing that's been handed down. It's genetic. We all think we're different because we don't all look the same. If we all look the same, then we'd have one skin color. And the only color I can come up with is gray. And if that's the case, all of our eyeballs would, would uh, be different. How can you be gray and have this different eyeballs, blue, brown, and green, and whatever? So I figure we just have all eyeballs that are the same color. Let's just make them black. So then we're gray and we have black eyeballs. Now all of our eyeballs are different sizes. Some people got slanty eyes. Some people got big eyes. Oh man. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make our eyeballs big. Just make them big. Everybody got big eyeballs and gray colored skin. You know what I'm saying? You know what? Noses. Everybody's got a different size nose. How in the hell can we be all gray, have big eyes, you know, same color skin, and got, you know, this look, a different nose. So let's just get away with the nose and have two holes right there. You know what? You know what? People have facial hair. Just get rid of the facial hair. You know what? People got lips. You can tell if we're all different. If, you know, this guy got big lips and this guy got small lips. Let's just get away with lips and take them out and put little slits across for our miles. You know what? You know what? You know what? People, you know what? Ears. You know, we have to either get rid of the ears or, you know what? Let's just make little holes on the side of our heads. Um, you know what else? Hair. If we're different, you can tell us by the hair. Let's get rid of the hair too. And then all we have left is height and size. So let's make everybody motherfucking the same. Let's make everybody four foot tall. Yep. <laughs> so no one gets big. So nobody is too big or too small. <laughs> yep. If we are truly created to look like a god or, or in the image of a god or some being or somebody who's supposed to be creating us, then we have to be big enough and human enough to understand that differences are only as far as we can see them. If I can see a difference in you, then I can see you. If I can't see no difference in you, nobody can see me. So where's the understanding in light skin and dark skin? When the individual is an individual, there can be a whole bunch of different assholes, but they all look the same. They all got that snarl in their face and that attitude in their voice. They all got that control mentality like they can tell you what to do. An asshole looks the same no matter what color he is. Light skin, dark skin, black or white. You can see an asshole a mile away. And if an asshole speaks, you can see him even faster. Oh, but now, what about sex? There's female assholes too. That are a whole bunch of different colors. Light skin, dark skin, black and white. Mexican or whatever. It's attitudes and people. It's good people and bad people. Tolerant people and people who cannot tolerate. 
That's what it is. It's not what color you are, what size shoes you wear, how big your hands are, how smart your brain is. We are all different for a reason. And stop trying to find reasons for us all to be the same. We can't be the same. Not us, not them, not him, not her. Not you, not me, not them, not us. Wait a minute, I said that more than once. I don't care. But the point is, Sergeant Willie Pete, in this world, on this planet, in this day and age, we need not worry about the problems that are right before our eyes, but the ones they are making sure we don't see that stand before our souls. I can break it off like that, baby, or come down like Jerry Springer and give you one moment in the end to think. We have bigger problems than light skin and dark skin. You need to dig into these people a little bit deeper, Sergeant Willie Pete. Find out why you don't like me because I'm light skin. Find out why they don't like you because you dark skin. Find out why you don't show your face after they done shut your ass down. I am not, not an advocate for stupid shit. You have the power. You look at you, you're back on the page three days after being gone. Dead for three days and came back, baby. You're back and ain't learned nothing. Who am I? I'm just some old dude that started his way after you. I'm on my first name, baby. AIX for life. I'm just trying to be real, man. And on your stories, you be telling the truth, but you leave it half cop. You say some things, but you leave the door wide open. Don't speak if you ain't going to close out on these fools. I'm a big Raider fan. We whoop your ass three quarters of the game and can't close you out. Your foot on somebody's neck and they can't breathe. You got to close them out. You got to shut it down, baby. Let it get to the end. Tell both sides of the story. I might be wrong. But it's going to sound like I'm right. And by the time you figure out, you know what? He's wrong. I'm going to be man enough for you to say, you know what? You're wrong. Color doesn't mean nothing. Color doesn't give you status. Light skin, dark skin, it doesn't matter in the real world, baby. That is a figment of our imaginations. That somebody gives a damn what color you are now. They don't give a damn. And those who do dwell on color will die in the past, baby. It's right or wrong, good or bad. They hated me because I was light skinned, I swear. They talked bad about me. Tried to make me feel funny when I was in Tennessee. Would you little kid, little kids do that? In the adult world, we let that shit go, baby. Let it go. Talk about finances, bruh. Talk about putting some money in your pocket to better your family to take tomorrow to next week. Take next week to next month. Because today is here. You might be lucky to see it. But if you can take tomorrow somewhere else, you don't have to worry about today. And your color is not going to be a factor in that. Unless you allow it to be. You've been too. But first, before I go, before this timer runs out, before I'm finished, we'll show you an image. If he comes to rule this planet, it ain't gonna give a he ain't gonna care what color you are, who you are. If this creature on this little picture I'm showing you comes to Earth, he ain't going to give a damn what you are.